Hello, and welcome to Duane and Nidia Food Travel and Fun. Today, we have a bit of a different type of video for you, and one that many of our viewers have been requesting. Many of you who watch our videos know that Duane and I enjoy cruising and enjoy casino play. I particularly enjoy playing those slot machines. And today, we're going to share some of our tips and tricks that turn our casino play into free cruises. We'll share how to optimize the benefits of the NCL Casinos at Sea program to get you cruising at huge discounts, sometimes free, and then we'll tell you how to get the most from your gambling dollars. Now, for official information on Casinos at Sea, go to the Norwegian Cruise Lines website. While the information we share today comes from our own experiences and observations, it may not necessarily reflect the actual program rules. And that would include any perks we talk about, comps, perks, and things such as um, free play and other things that are available for casino players from Norwegian Cruise Lines. And remember, any perks and comps that Casinos at Sea does offer its players, it's based on tier level, so it is based on how much you do play. So let's get started with our tips. And number one, our number one tip, of course, is make sure you get and remember to always use your Casinos at Sea player's card. There won't be any perks or comps if the um, Norwegian Cruise Line Casinos can't track your play. NCL player's cards can be used at all slot machines and table games. So make sure to have the card inserted into the machine while playing or hand it to the dealer when first sitting down at any table game. Much like the Caesars rewards card, for example, NCL will give you one tier point for every $5 wagered. This isn't one point per $5 lost, folks. It's one point for every $5 wagered so remember, when you're playing a slot machine, money goes in and sometimes you get little wins all the way through. Um, so all of those little wins get reinvested and re-wagered. So for example, $20 could actually get you many, many points if you have some luck while you're playing. And you know, just please remember to always have that card in the machine. Tip number two, introduce yourself to the casino hosts. You can find the casino hosts at the Players Club desk in the casino. Get on their radar. Let them know who you are. I've learned a lot about how to maximize my comps for my casino play by speaking directly with the hosts on board. They'll check on you during the cruise. They'll ask if you'd like any snacks or beverages delivered to your room. Um, they'll make reservations for spe specialty dining even when you don't have the ability to make those reservations yourself. And generally speaking, they're just going to be checking on you during the cruise, saying hello and seeing how everything's going. And they'll make themselves available to you for any questions. Our tip number three, play for points and not for jackpots. Well, let me explain a little bit more about that here. What I meant to say is try to maximize your play so you can get as much coin in as possible while playing. For me, this means that I want my bankroll to last as long as it can. And I limit my bets to keep spinning versus betting high dollar amounts per spin. One rule of thumb for me is that Dwayne and I play together very often. We each put in the same amount of money to start into one machine and we, we play together versus splitting our play among two player cards. Because as a player, he's entitled to have his own card. I'm entitled to have my own card. But if you play together, get all the points for your money on one card so you accumulate those tier points much more quickly. Now, I typically start with fairly low bets, around $2, 250 per spin, depending on the machine. And then I increase our bet per spin when we're up. And for me, up is when I have doubled the money that I initially inserted into the machine to start with. Our goal is to play longer and get more points. The points are what we're going to consider our value for our gambling play. Tip number four, don't convert your points into free slot play at the machine. Don't be tempted. 
you'll see this amount accumulating as you play throughout your cruise. I made this mistake just once and learned that those points and that comp play earned will get you very, very little. In fact, the casino hosts themselves told me they can offer you as much as 10 times more than you will get in free slot play when you convert those points at the machine. Now, when I said they can give you 10 times more, I meant that they'd give you 10 times more comp and they'll give you that comp in onboard credit or they'll review your charges on your onboard account and see what they can waive or remove. So don't use those points, don't convert it at the machine, save them up, and then you'll have more for the Players Club host to work with when comping you for your play at the end of the cruise. Now, let's move on to tip number five. I wanna give you some last night of the cruise tips. Now, when you're done with your gambling for the cruise, and try to finish up before the shops and stores on board close on that last night, make sure to go to the Players Club. Speak with a casino host and ask them to review your play and your onboard account charges for comps. The host will review your charges and credit your account. Remove or waive, for example, the charges associated with accessing money or cash on your onboard account to gamble with, and any or other onboard account charges for dining, retail purchases, etc. Basically, anything over and above you paid for is available to be comped or removed from your onboard account. Then, if there's not enough charges to your account or they've removed as much as they could or as much of those eligible charges as they um, are able to comp, they will then give you more onboard credit. Yes, more onboard credit. That's when I learned to do this while the retail shops on board were still open. On a recent cruise, we got $500 onboard credit to shop with, and we each got watches. And this is after they had waived, I think maybe one or $200 of other eligible charges that were already on my account due to specialty dining and purchases in the retail shops like Tradewinds. Another time, we got clothing, souvenirs, duty-free items, and jewelry. So don't forget to do this because you have to get your comps while you're on board. You can only do this while on the cruise and when the ship's casino and the ship's stores are still open. Therefore, I usually wait and do this after I've gambled for the trip, but before the casino closes and definitely before trade winds and the other retail shops are closed. Now, on to my last tip. Make sure to book all your cruises through, through the Casino at Sea's dedicated phone line, which is 1-877-PLAY-NCL. Now, it's not always open, so you have to be mindful about when Casinos at Sea agents are able to take your call for any reservations, bookings, or questions. It is open Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And on Saturdays and Sundays, from 10.30 to 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You have to really do your research first. Look up the cruise you want to book. Make sure to note the ship's name, the date of the cruise, and which port you would like to leave from so that it's easy for them to find that cruise when they're looking up your information and trying to book the cruise for you. And then, after you know which cruise you want to book, or cruises, you can do more than one, call the casinos at sea line and ask to speak to one of their agents. The representative, once they get on the phone, will look up your play and make sure, please make sure that if you're going to call casinos at sea, you've already played on the NCL casinos while at sea. You're not gonna get much from casinos at sea um, by doing this if you haven't already played. However, 
There are people who play at Caesars, for example, at the Caesars Entertainment Casinos across the country. We have them in Las Vegas. There's one in New Orleans. There are many, or I think uh, more than one, in Atlantic City and other cities across the country. And they do have a relationship with casinos at sea. So, for example, Diamond members of Caesars Rewards, uh, Rewards Program they often get special offers and they often get special discounts uh, because they are diamond players or above with Caesars. You can call this line and even though you haven't cruised before, you can get a discount on a cruise that you book through this NCL Casinos at Sea line. Also, I have found, because I, we are both Caesars Entertainment players as well, we will get sent special uh, certificates or cruise vouchers um, offering a free cruise, for example, right from one of our casinos that we like to play at locally or in Vegas. Now, the representative will look up your play and they'll also take the information on the cruise you'd like to book. I found that they have always been able to comp my cruise once I've at least cruised once and played in the casino and made it to that first base level um, that gets me the free drinks on the casino. Um, most of the time, I think going to that first level can get you to the pearl level, and that pearl card is that second tier level after the initial one. So let's talk about those Casino at Sea rewards tier cards. First, it starts with Jade level, and then it goes up to pearl. Doesn't take much, folks, to get to that pearl level from Jade. And then after Jade, I mean, after Pearl, excuse me. We go to Sapphire. After Sapphire, you earn more tier points to attain the Ruby status. And then lastly, the highest tier level for all casino players with the Casinos at Sea um, program is the Elite Level card. At first, you'll qualify for at least a free inside stateroom unless you've already attained a pearl or higher level. But you can always upgrade from the free stateroom that they offer you for your play. Now, I do find that what you are offered depends on what cruise sailing you'd like to book, the age and the size of the ship. I find that the smaller, older ships, they'll give you a lot more for your play. I've gotten stateroom balconies with very little advanced play on those ships. But if the ship is really new, um, more play may not get you that balcony cabin, um, at least not complimentary. I've had to upgrade to those. So when you book through casinos at sea, you'll still be able to take advantage of whatever sales are going on. So outside of getting the stateroom for free or maybe upgrading for a small amount, getting to the level of stateroom that you really like to book, you'll still be able to take advantage of the sales. And you'll be able to participate in their free at sea program. Now I booked a casinos at sea cruise and have used NCL Air with deviation. The one where one person flies for free, for example. I've gotten the drink and specialty dining packages. I've had them book pre-cruise hotels and offer free at sea offers just like the other sailings booked directly through their website or through a personal cruise consultant. Now, the one thing I've learned is to book these casino at sea cruises in advance. And I typically call to book a cruise once I return from a cruise. Why? Because I want to take advantage of the play that I've added onto my um, player's card. The casino at sea hosts and agents have the ability to have three cruises booked for you at a time. But I recently find, uh, found out that you can book a fourth or even higher number of advanced cruises by just asking for a manager to allow the agent to override and get that additional cruise or two booked. Now, at times, I've called to book and then ask the host to review my earlier booked cruises. So, for example, 
When I was calling to book a fourth cruise recently, I asked the agent at Casinos at Sea to check back on my upcoming Mediterranean cruise. When I booked that cruise, it was earlier in the year. I did not have as many tier credits. I did not have as much play in the NCL casinos. So lo and behold, when the agent went back to review that cruise, I had only, at that time, I had only been eligible for an inside stateroom and I had to pay extra for a balcony stateroom. But after two more cruises and lots more play, when she reviewed that booked cruise, she was able to upgrade me to a club balcony suite for free and all those other charges were removed. The upcharge for the stateroom and everything else that I didn't qualify for before were removed and I got the club balcony suite for free. Now, you will get more when you're booking your cruises when it's the end of the annual tier reward period, which typically goes from April 1st through the end of March. As you get closer to the end of March, that's when you'll have the most accumulated points, but it would be, of course, dependent on how many cruises you went on during that same time period. And that's when it's important, when you're at that place or at that point of having the most play on your card, that I think when you call the Casinos at Sea line, you'll be able to get more, or at least they'll be able to offer you more for your comps. So that's it. I hope you found our tips and experiences with Casinos at Sea helpful. So till next time, thank you for watching today. And please like, subscribe, and look for more content from Dwayne and Nidia, food, travel, and fun. And we'll see you on our next adventure, and we'll see you on our next cruise. Bye, everyone.